Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I have quite a simple artwork just because I have been feeling a little bit stressed for the last couple of weeks so I felt like I needed to do something that was easy and just calming. I don't usually doodle but I thought I would try it this time and I guess it's just what I needed because I do feel a lot calmer and I think the reason why I feel this way is because doodles are just very easy. They don't need to be beautiful, they don't need to be perfect, they can be whatever you want them to be and on this occasion I chose a pizza. Initially I was going to do a Covid attacking the pizza theme kind of but in the end I just opted for a very simple pizza with some cheese dripping down and you might notice that there's a face in the cheese and I also added one little tooth with a sweet corn. Because doodling is not something that comes easily to me, believe it or not, I did have to look up other people's doodles before I attempted my own and I adopted the styles that I have seen other people do, which includes the very nice thick outline and colouring with markers. I have the Windsor and Newton brush markers and I have tested out the colours that I would like to blend in order to create this image. And the reason why I'm talking as though I haven't coloured the image yet is because at the time of recording this audio I haven't. And that's because I have a feeling I just won't have time to record the audio later on. So I'm hoping that the way I think the colouring process is going to go is going to be exactly as how I describe it here. So the colours I'm opting for, or what I think I will attempt, is I will pick three colours to try and create a blend. I've done some tests on this paper to see if it blends and it seems to blend quite well actually, but only if the paper is saturated and I mean really saturated with the ink. I found that the method of colouring with markers that I have seen tutorials for online, it doesn't seem to work with this paper. You kind of have to double over the colours just to really saturate the paper before the blend actually happens. At this point in time, I don't know if I will manage to do the blend well enough, but here's hoping that I'm predicting right and that the image comes out decent. If it doesn't, then, you know, that's life. Life goes on. I mentioned before that I don't usually doodle, but this is actually the second attempt at doodling. The first one I started on a day when my mood was quite low. So I did it to try and lift myself up. But as I was drawing, I wasn't paying attention to the amount of pressure I was putting on my right hand and I must have pulled something, though I don't know what, because for the next month I wasn't able to move my pointer finger and therefore I wasn't able to draw freely with my right hand. And that's why in the Sketchbook Slam challenge you might have noticed that I was using my left hand. I thought I'd mention that in case it's confusing for anyone coming onto my channel and seeing me switch between my hands. I pretty much just use whichever hand is in the least amount of pain at the time. It's been a little bit of a while since I've used markers because I did start focusing on the sketching. The last time I used markers was when I recorded the Let's Test video with the turtle drawing. So I did forget just how fun markers are. They are just so calming to use and if anyone wants to try an art form that is calming, it's therapeutic, I would recommend markers, I really would. In terms of the products I used, I used my Pigma Microns for the outline because they are waterproof and bleed proof so I will be able to use my alcohol markers on top of them without them bleeding and also they are much cheaper than purchasing Copic multi-liners. So that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.